All right, thank you very much. Hello, everybody. Yes, it's your good friend Possible here, and I'm back with a new thing called the Word of the Day. And what is today's Word of the Day? The Word of the Day is iconic. And when it comes to a movie, there's many things people want to be. And one of the things you really want to be sometimes is iconic. Okay, uh, something that people will always remember you for. You'll always be, you know, a part of the culture, in other words. And one movie that has accomplished that, which is perfect for Halloween, is Cujo. You know, when they say that there's a new name for car for terror, they meant it because that's what this book and this is what this movie really did. It created a whole new name for terrifying dogs. And believe it or not, we are talking about St. Bernard's. Uh, it's kind of hilarious, you know, when they first started making this movie, they're like, yeah, we're going to make the St. Bernard into the villain. And people were telling them, no, you can't do that. There's no way this cute little dumb looking dog who basically is more famous for rescue missions, you know, carrying that little barrel underneath his neck that he carries alcohol in it so that he can um, bring people back to life. If you've seen cartoons, you know what I'm talking about. There's no way you can turn that cute little dog into this. You know, a true bloody terror um, of rabies who terrorizes a family while they're in their car. Uh, it's a funny story. You know, it's so funny because I always thought Cujo was the family dog, that this family actually owned Cujo, and they don't. You know, he's actually the family dog of, of the place where they're stranded at. Uh, I think the scariest part about Cujo, uh, even though I have to admit, it starts off really slow. You know, it's, it really has a huge setup time, uh, gets a little slow, but man, when it picks up near the end, it really picks up. There's some really scary moments that just make you jump out of your seat. Uh, that said, the reason why Cujo is really so scary is because this is actually very real here. They kept the whole thing down to earth. There wasn't anything outside the realm of possibility in this movie. You've got a dog who gets bitten by bats and that gives him rabies. And when they get rabies, they start to go a little crazy and they start to, you know, bite people and everything. So Cujo, very realistic, very horrifying, very scary. So if you haven't seen it yet, definitely see it. Cujo is worthy. I mean, it took me, what, some 39 plus years, to, no, <laughs> 39 years to see it. Now finally I got to see it and I really enjoyed it. But um, if you haven't seen it, I think you should see it and I think you'll enjoy it. Well, guys, that's it for me for right now. We'll see you later. We'll see you at the theaters.